Do you want to know what the best free screen recorder on the market is? Well then stay tuned because you will find out in this video. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Phantom here, and today I'm going to be showing you what the best free screen recorder on the market is for all you people who don't want to pay money to get a good screen recorder. So this screen recorder, as you can probably see, is OBS, or Open Broadcaster Software. And to get the best settings on this, you're going to want to go to Encoding and Encoder X264, and make it the max bitrate of 1000 and the buffer size of 0, which doesn't really make sense here, but it will soon. Your broadcast settings, you're going to want to put it to file output only. And you're going to want to have your file path set to somewhere easy where you can get to it. Because I have mine set to my desktop. And that's where I can easily get to it. So for video, you're going to want to use no resolution downscale. Unless you are using a high resolution monitor. And you don't want to upload your high resolution to YouTube to have it encoded and uploaded. So you're going to want to set your FPS to 30. And why I say this is because some people depending on how good your computer is might not be able to record it higher than this but by all means if you have a really good computer or a pretty good computer you can use 50 or 60 fps on most of your games but if you have a lower end computer you might want to use 30 fps or depending on the game you're playing you could even use 50 or 60 so for audio you can pretty much just put whatever microphone or headphones you want into it for hotkeys you can click start recording and stop recording for whatever hotkey you want and for me I have mine set to alt which is an easy place for me to get to my hotkey and I can just click it whenever I want to or if I have a good moment that I'm just about to get I can just click it and start recording so for advanced you're gonna wanna set your multi-threaded optimizations on cause that will get you the best quality and performance for your video. You're going to have your process priority class set to normal or above normal because this will help and while you're making your video and it will help you get higher FPS as well as multi-threaded optimizations does. And you're going to want to use X264 CPU preset as your setting and you're going to want to have it as very fast and you can use very fast, super fast, or ultra fast because faster, fast, medium, slower, and slow don't really get you any better quality but they degrade your performance quite a bit and you can use any of these if you have a lower, medium, or high end computer. I wouldn't recommend faster, fast, medium, slow, or slower but you can use them if you want to. Your encoding profile should be high because that will still get you good FPS in your games. If you set it to main, your games will probably get a lot less FPS while you're recording on it. And this is where all the magic happens. Set your custom X264 encoder to CRF equals a number between 0 and 22. I use 15 because it's a good balance between quality and performance for me. But 0 is lost less quality. So if you don't want to lose any quality at all, you can use 0. Feel free to, but it will probably get you a lot less FPS in your games. And 22 is probably not that good of a quality but it will still work so if you don't have a really awesome computer or anything like that you can use 22 and what I would recommend is starting at 22 and going down to wherever you can get a good performance and a good video quality at the same time from 22 downward so I use 15 because it is good for me and why is this screen recorder better than any other recorder you might ask I might use Nvidia Shadow Play sometimes but the thing is, the quality isn't that good, and you can't really change any qualities or settings in it or anything, and you can record at 50 megabytes per second and higher settings like that, but you will not be able to upload to YouTube in that high quality, and you can upload to YouTube in your encoding max bitrate of 1000. And it will look awesome for a 1000 bit rate and it will, people, anyone can watch it and it's pretty easy to use and you can get a lot of good quality so this is why you should use OBS because it is the best free screen recording software out there. And if you enjoyed this video please like, comment, and subscribe and tell me what I can do better on my videos and thank you for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!